What's going on guys, the bomb diggity bringing you guys a UFC John the Bones, I just said the Bones, John Bones Jones, Road to the Championship, versus Stefan <laughs> Boner, that's not his name, it's Bonner, but, I mean, if you have that last name, I'm, I'm just gonna make fun of you, I mean, that's just the way it is. This is a five for one video extravaganza at 2.32 in the morning on August 1st, Wednesday, August 1st, and that means that I have 18 days left before I go to school, I believe, which sucks, but summer's getting boring, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I haven't been really doing anything because my friends went back to football because they have two days, which sucks for me and for them. Because I can't hang out with them. And their day pretty much sucks. Because they get up, play football, go home, sleep, go play football, come home, sleep, go play football, and so on and so forth. Basically, I chose John Jones to do a road in the championship. Because I, from my, from my information, he's still the UFC light heavyweight champion after he beat Rua. And I think he's one of the best fighters I've ever watched. He's the most fun fighter to watch by far. He does some of the weirdest shit. You'll be expecting him to do a jab. He'll go like, whoa! Reverse, er, spinning back fist, spinning heel kick, spinning shin body kick. I don't know. I was watching the other day on YouTube the highlights of his UFC career, and he is a god. I did, in fact, watch the Rua vs. Jones championship fight. Um, so, I must say, he is becoming one of my favorite fighters in the UFC, because, I don't know, I, I this might sound racist, but I don't like when black people, not, I'm going to rephrase that, I don't like when anybody acts gangster, because... You cannot be gangster unless you walk around in a suit and you're Al Capone, alright? You're not gangster. You're just a gang banger. There's a difference. And, and and I was listening to John Jones in an interview and he's not cocky. He's like mad. He's not like mad, you know? A lot of people uh, get a little bit too much of themselves, if you will. They're a little bit cocky for me, but he's not, and I don't mean that to be racist, I'm just saying, like, I don't like those type of people, that are really loud, obnoxious people, and, and by our culture, we typically label them as black people, and that's what I just did, but I didn't mean it like that, anybody can do that. White people, white trash can do that. Ah, uh, white trash, so annoying. Oh man, I cannot stand white trash, or any any race. I'm. This is becoming a weird commentary, but any race that can be that way. Um. So I didn't mean to make that racist. If you took a racist, please unsubscribe because you're probably not subscribed already. Um. So, I was just looking at my thing, my dresser, if you will, that had my PlayStation and my TV on, and I noticed my styrofoam cup. I typically don't use styrofoam cups, but the other day I was just being goofy. Yes, I did just say goofy. I saw styrofoam cups in my counter, and that reminded me that little Wayne used to do that. What a knockout! And so, uh, since no one uses them, we have plastic cups, um, plastic glass cups, I don't know what the fuck they are, they're all the same, unless you drop them, then they're different. Um, I remember he stacked them, and he put scissor up in it, S now I'm fighting scissor actually, and he put syrup in it, which I don't understand what kind of high you get off syrup. Is it just like a relaxing um, alternate to weed? Or I don't get the, the draw to it. But 
I have five styrofoam cups stacked on top of each other and I was drinking out of it. <laughs> Typically he had three, I think. Three two or three, but I have five. And <laughs> just so fucking stupid. I don't understand why I did that, but it's kind of funny. I kind of like the son of a bitch. I have them in my hand and I just spilled some water that's in there. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny because I saw it on my dresser. But I don't understand the need for more than one cup. So just for the cool looks of it. I mean, I like to have five because I think it's funny. But I don't think he was going for the funny factor. I think he thought he's a little bit cool. When he stacked up his styrofoam cups. But. I don't know why I just got on styrofoam cups. I just ate some serious nachos. And if you want some good nachos. Get some Doritos out. Put them on a plate. Get some taco sauce. Um. I prefer. Ortega. But that's your preference. I, I, I know that Ortega is good for this. Get your Doritos. Lay those bitches out on a plate. And then pour hot sauce or taco sauce, whatever you want to call it, over the Doritos. And then put cheese on it. And that's awesome. No way, I forgot one part. Put cheese on it and then microwave it. And that's awesome. And preferably I'll eat sour cream on them, but I didn't have any sour cream. Because it expired August 1st and today's August 1st and I didn't want to take my chances. I don't really know what would happen if I ate it. Would I get, like, salmonella or something? I don't really know what happens when you eat expired sour cream. And somehow this commentary got on this subject of sour cream and nachos. Anyways. Did I already talk about school? I think I did. So, I just ground and pounded. I think John Jones is a beast wrestler, and he... I believe he went to Iowa State. Hint, hint. <clears throat> um, which is the best wrestling academy in the league. And yes, I did just say academy. I don't even know what that meant. I was going for something different, but I don't really know. I accidentally press my home button all the time. Um, just because I'm an idiot. And I like to do stupid stuff like that if you will. I'd like to thank you guys for the support lately. I know I only have like five videos, but you guys have been watching them. I don't know if it's my subscribers since I only have two, but I put out a Grand Theft Auto video today and it got seven views, and I'm pretty proud of that because I only have two subscribers, which I mean, I don't like to pay attention to the numbers, but it's fun when you start getting likes because then, you know, people are enjoying it. I don't know how to get likes. Perhaps I should just put like a secret annotation. And if you find it during the video, then I'll bring you to the subscribe screen. And do some cheap ass shit on some people. Because people are stupid. I've been reading some comments on YouTube. And <laughs> there's some good ones. There's the you're retarded where it's er y-o-u-r retarded I think that's a good one and your stupid spelled the same way I just don't get it uh, spelling is a big difference and I don't put punctuation but I should because punctuation and like text messages can tell the difference between being pissed off and being sarcastic or kidding I don't like to put punctuation though because I think it just takes too much time out my day that's a bad bad point when you get to the point where you're just like I don't want to put punctuation I'm too lazy and if you if you're too lazy to do that I don't know what to say cuz I'm summer is making me lazy as fuck I mean I had a job interview I applied to 18 places count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 places ground and pound baby ground and pound 18 places and I only got one interview and I got there to the interview and there's like I'm sorry you mu you live too far away we can't hire you I was like bitch I have a car 
I obviously drove here for a reason. That pissed me off, but it cost me like five dollars to get over there. So I'd still make I'd make back my gas money in one hour of working there, so I guess it's not that good. Um but I can respect it. Because I, I, I may or may not run an eBay channel or eBay store, I should say. And if you if you're on top of your sales sales you can actually make a little bit of money off of that. Which I sold like three games the other week. This week there's no really good sales out because there's only like Wii games, which I don't have a Wii. I had a Wii. I had a Wii Wii and I only I sold it after like twenty days of playing it because it was so fucking boring. And guess what? I made a profit because I got it opening day for like two hundred dollars or two twenty or something, whatever they sold it for. And I I think I made two twenty three. So I think I made a two a three dollar profit. I did almost just say two dollar profit, but I think I made a three dollar profit. Even though it was used and it was like 20 days after the fact. The Wii just sucked, man. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the the next generation consoles. Because I think they're going to be pretty fucking awesome. I think the graphics... I don't know if the graphics can go much further, though. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I wouldn't have said that about PlayStation 3. I would have never guessed that they would look this good from a PlayStation 2 standpoint. PlayStation 2 was bearable, but it looks nothing like this, uh, PlayStation 3. I remember the first day I got my PlayStation 3. Um, I was just like, holy fucking shit. I was playing Tony Hawk's Project 8. It was Christmas Eve of 2006, I believe. I got it a month after... I was one of the fortunate ones, but I paid a I paid a good a good amount for it. I'm not gonna release that information because it's a little bit too much. But I got my money's worth. I'm not even gonna lie. I played their shit on my PlayStation. I played ever since I had COD three. I still have Call of Duty three, but that's the only one that I have left from my opening games. I remember I got Need for CB Carbon Project A and Call of Duty 3. Um, don't ask me how I remember this. I had a nerd gas and when I saw I had a PlayStation. I <laughs> That's probably one of my most memorable days ever. As nerdy as that sounds. I remember we went to Harry Potter, I believe. I went to Harry Potter so they could set it up. And it'd be a surprise. And I got back and I went in my room and there it was sitting there. Plugged into a TV. That's still my TV, so it's about six years old. It's still running fine. I'm looking at Grand Theft Auto. It's, um, why is my guy just sitting there and a woman's laying on the ground? It's still running fine today. It's 1080i, I believe. My brother has a nicer TV. It's bigger and it runs in 1080p, which I don't really mind. I don't really see the difference between 1080i and 1080p, except you can't record 1080i really good. With a Hapog. I don't even think the Hapog does 1080p. Because. It's just not interlaced or something. Anyways. What was I saying? Um. Why the fuck did I get a class ring? I got a class ring and I've worn it twice. <laughs> oh shit. I'm stupid with my money. That's why i am only got a hundred something dollars. I need to get a job, but jobs in this market is just fucking horrible. We need a new, um, you know, head office people, if you know what I mean. I don't really like what's going on with the country right now. But what can you do? I'm not legal age to vote, so I cannot really contribute to that. But it's so fucking hard to find a job right now. But I can't really. Oh. Oh, oh, I don't, I can't really see who I'm fighting next. Um, cause iMovie covers it up. Gee, I'm, it's really hitting me how much money I've actually spent. I bought a MacBook Pro, class ring, 
on other PlayStation because my first one broke. Son of a bitch. I need to start saving my money. Which, I try to save 90% of my money. I know that's an insane amount, but I, I don't know. I like to save money. I like to have money when I need it. But I like to spend money at the same time because I'm only 16, motherfucker. I'm sure when I get to like 18 or 19, I'll start saving a lot more. I need to really get a job. It's just so fucking hard to get a job. I got called back twice. Once was a rejection over the phone. And then I got called in to that damn place. And I got rejected because I live too far away. Holy shit, I've been talking for 16 minutes. Well, thank you guys for watching. I don't know how you sat through this whole boring-ass commentary. <laughs> well, I'll be peacing on the streets now. Go ahead and hit the subscribe if you liked it. Like the video up if you're still here already. Or 16 minutes in if you're still here, like it up. Peace on the streets. Leave a comment. Peace.